Hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 here in Quincy, Illinois. This program behind the scenes, we do tape right here in the studio. We are actually in the studio. It's one large room. And I, I remember I told you several weeks ago and maybe even months ago now, one of these days we're going to take a virtual, virtual tour, a video tour, and we'll go around to the different sets in the studio. It's just one big room, but God has blessed us that we're able to tape. I believe it's now we have 10 programs that we tape here at WTJR. And uh, we're excited about this program behind the scenes uh, because we can let you know what God has been doing here at the studio this week and what's coming up. And uh, he always, I tell you, God is faithful to us. And I just pray we are found faithful to him. Amen. Amen. Well, let's get started with our slideshow for today. We have some pictures starting with uh, taping of Pastor Speaks last week. This is Pastor Todd Hastings, and he pastors Bethel Assembly of God Church here in Quincy, Illinois. And he brought a wonderful message. It was wonderful to have Todd here in the studio again. And we also taped a program. Oh, I guess that was the only one we taped. I, usually we tape two programs at a time. But anyway, moving on, we taped Freedom from Addiction programs with Pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins. And they were, are with Addiction um, <clears throat> Free in Christ. And they tape a 15-minute program here at WTJR about addictions. And there are so many different addictions, not just drugs and alcohol, but there's fear, there's pornography. And now on these shows coming up, they're going to be talking about addiction to the cell phone. Anybody out there guilty to their addiction to cell phone? Well, you want to be sure and listen to this, okay? Also, we had Pray 16 last Friday. Uh, our guest uh, pastor was Pastor Terry Mayer, and she's from Hannibal True Church in Hannibal, Missouri. And of course, um, Gary Wallace is the host of the program, and he pastors at River of Life Church here in Quincy. We also taped Simple Truth programs. That's a Bible teacher program right here on WTJR with Bible teacher John Fowler. I mean, John Furness, and he's from Fowler, Illinois. There we go. I got a little tongue-tied there, didn't I? But John does a wonderful job. He's been teaching from the book of Hebrews. In fact, he finished up uh, with the 13th chapter of Hebrews, and he'll be starting a new series when he comes back in to tape. This is an action shot. I was getting cameras all set up before the program. And we also taped Outreach Connection programs with uh, host Timothy Southers. It was good to have Timothy back with us. We do want to thank Tim Red. He filled in for a few uh, uh, weeks with us. We really appreciate that. Uh, we taped a program with Anthony Cunningham, and he is giving us information about a new ministry, just a couple of months old here in Quincy. Um, and the name of it is, uh, okay, Stand, or start to Finish Ministries. There we go. Start to Finish Ministries here in Quincy, Illinois. So you want to be sure and watch that program coming up. And we also taped a program with uh, Pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins. They were here to talk about their addiction seminar coming up in April. And that's another action shot, getting the microphone, you know. Sometimes it takes longer to set up <laughs> with getting the lights and the sound and, and everything situated than it does the actual shows. But it's part of the process, isn't it? That's behind behind the scenes. Amen. We do thank Jerry and Julie. They're uh, great friends and supporters of WTJR, doing a wonderful work helping people with addictions here in the area. And they also reach to the world, too. Amen. Al, I am going to turn this over to Jim Wilson, our engineer. He's got exciting news to tell you about these next pictures coming up. Okay, Donette, thank you. And by the way, your mic's still on. Uh, we're going into the master control room here, and that's Nick running it there. We've got a new playback server in master control, so we're able to play back HD files. It's called the air server. And when we were able to do that, then we were able to change our main channel to HD. Now, our sub-channel, 16.4, was already HD. Uh, it was direct satellite feed. 
but now the main channel is HD. Now, even though the main channel is HD, a lot of our content is still HD. Here's the video server here. And uh, here's the monitor that shows on the bottom left-hand corner is our main channel. You can see how it's bigger because it's uh, HD. And then we have three SD sub-channels. And here we are back in master control getting things set up. And so it's exciting. Uh, we're able to play HD files over the air. Uh, we're not able to, to produce uh, HD programs yet in our production control room but we're able to play them over the air. So come in the coming weeks and months, we'll be upgrading uh, the WTGR production room so that we can record HD files and then they'll be sent next door to be played. Right now, even though our programs fill the screen, like right there you see Woman's Joy uh, playing over the air, uh, they're stretched to fit the entire screen and they're zoomed in. But when we're able to record HD files, so it won't be doing that, it will be uh, natively widescreen and a higher resolution. So better quality. Well, Donette, uh, we're excited about that and we'll be coming back to the studio at this time. Thank you, Jim, for that update. It's exciting. Maybe Tuesday, uh, you heard us praise the Lord, praise the Lord here, because that's when we were able to go HD in the master control room. And, you know, <laughs> Jim and I have talked for the several months. You've heard us talking about them behind the scenes. I uh, even showed you a picture of a shelf that we have in our production room where we've got some of the old three-quarter inch tapes. <laughs> and we, well, now we're not even using tapes. We are recording right into a file in our computer. Isn't that exciting? And uh, so I've had a lot of new knowledge I've had to learn <laughs> and utilize, but it's exciting to see us keep moving on and moving forward. Of course, that doesn't affect the message. The gospel of Jesus Christ, the B-I-B-L-E, never changes. And that word is still going forth from here in WTJR. And we're excited about that, but we got to keep up with our equipment and uh, and with the technology as a, to the ways that we can bring the gospel to you, right? Amen. Amen. So we praise God. Amen. Let's go. Monthly church totals for the month of February. We had seven churches giving a total of $460. This picture is from the inside of the River of Life Church here in Quincy, Illinois. And the donations the, in February came from Faith Missions Outreach here in Quincy, Illinois, Gospel, Gospel Glory Worship Center in Clayton, Illinois, House of Prayer, Kinderhook, Illinois, Loman Chapel, Shabina, Missouri, Pontusi Community Church, Pontusi, Illinois, River of Life Church here in Quincy, Illinois, and Shepherd's Gate in Macomb, Illinois. And I say thank you to all of the area churches that do financially support us, and I, we really appreciate that. Amen. We have prayer here in the studio coming up on Monday at 1 p.m., and uh, we are on the second floor, 222 North 6th Street here in Quincy, Illinois. There's an elevator available. And I would make mention, if you need prayer, please come by and we will pray with you, okay? Uh, also, if you need prayer, you can call us here at the station at 228-1616. And you can also email pray16 at wtjr.org. We're always honored to pray with you. And we have another... Um, great program that is a call-in, yes, program for prayer, and it's live, and it's on Fridays, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., and that's Pray 16. And I hope that you have tuned in and become a part of this program. In fact, you are a prayer partner with us. Did you know that you can be a prayer partner with us? Not only call in your prayer request and your praise reports, but you can stand in faith with us and pray for these prayer requests. Even though we repeat on Monday evening, there is an operator here, okay? You can also watch Pray 16 Live on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. And we would ask you to please share this. There will be a button there that you can start a watch party, which will send that video to all of your 
uh, Facebook friends, and we would appreciate you helping us get that word out and get that program out about prayer. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Every evening prayer for one minute from 8 to 8.01 p.m. Central Time. Uh, again, I want to encourage you to join us. Uh, set your alarm. I've got the alarm set on my phone. And I'll take time and uh, whatever, uh, what's on my heart right then and there, I pray about. I believe God lays things on our heart to pray about. And uh, so we can always pray for our country, for our children, for our, our government, for the church, for the lost. There's a lot to pray for. But as God directs you, lift that up in prayer from 8 to 8.01 p.m. Central Time. Soul Winning Training right here at the WTGR studio. And uh, right now we're focusing in on nursing home ministries right here in Quincy and the surrounding area to go forth and share the gospel with them. Uh, we train on Mondays at 11 a.m. for one hour. Uh, we use the Soul Winning Script for the Great Awakening. We did have a gentleman come this past week and uh, we uh, went through um, the training with him. And uh, as soon as we set a date to go out, well, he's going to go with us. But if you would like to know or be encouraged, you know, um, it uses, the Soul Winning Script uses Roman Road Scriptures. It's all scriptural of how to tell people about Jesus. And you know, sometimes we get nervous and, um, you know, and maybe a little shy, but um, I don't know. I have found, because we've been training here since 2011 with the Soul Winning Script, that when two or three of us go out together and we have prayed, the Holy Spirit goes with us, there's a boldness that comes and the fear is gone. And all you're concerned about is that person's soul. So if you have any questions about the training, call us here at the station and we'll be glad to answer your questions. Coming up this next week, we have a Re Revive America <coughs> that will be live here in the studio on Tuesday, March 10th. We have worship at 7 p.m., which will this month, uh, Tim Red and New Anointing Praise Team will be here. And you can watch that live on Facebook at 7 p.m. And then at 7.30 p.m., Evangelist Robert Newton will bring a message. And that will be live on our Facebook page and on WTJR Channel 16.1. Don't forget to download the app, the CTN app, so you can watch WTJR on your iPhone or your tablet. Or if you have Roku and the uh, Apple app on your TV, you can also watch us on television. So remember, download the app. If you've got any questions, call us here. We'll be glad to help you with that. We're also still collecting the postage stamps. Um, the money uh, from the stamps is used to purchase books for missionaries to teach children in other countries. A lot of you will put them in with your donation check. I say thank you. Or you can drop them off here at the studio at 222 North 6th Street. Family new movie night <clears throat> coming up is six, the Mark Unleashed. This will air on Saturday, March the 14th at 8 p.m. and on Sunday, March 15th at 11:30 p.m. And we do have a promo for this movie, Six, the Mark Unleashed. up. And this is the movie that will be airing on Saturday, March 14th at 8 p.m. and on Sunday, March the 15th at 11.30 p.m. right here on WTJR. And coming up this next week on A Woman's Joy is um, someone very familiar. You will recognize her. And uh, she is my administrative assistant here at WTJR. 
and that is Karen White. And if you call the studio, she answers the phone, she prays with people, and she also helps schedule the guests on different programs. And she is a real blessing to me and the rest of the staff here at WTJR. But she is going uh, to stay in a program with me, uh, too, in fact. The first program that will air next week, we will be talking about soul winning and give some testimonies and training with that uh, because uh, Karen has been a big part of that ministry right here at WTJR. You can watch that on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. Coming up on Outreach Connection this next week, the guest is Michelle Hintz. And uh, the co-host uh, was Tim Red. He was filling in for Timothy. And she is here to talk about Breakthrough for Women event that will be held at the Rock Church on March the 28th. And she wanted to invite all the area women. And so you want to be sure and watch this on Monday, March 9th at 11 a.m., Wednesday, March 11th at 9 p.m., and Saturday, March 14th at 5 p.m. Coming up on Pastor Speak Special, uh, we have the second part of the program with Pastor Gary Wallace from River of Life Church here in Quincy, Pastor Joshua Hall from Faith Presbyterian Church here in Quincy, and Pastor Robert Axton from the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. And they were discussing the importance of the church and the believers. And you may watch that on Sunday, March 1st. Oh, I didn't change the dates on that screen. I know it will start out on March the 8th on Sunday. And it will be on Tuesday at 1.30 and Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Forgive me, I got sidetracked, didn't I? Coming up on Hometown Happenings. Hometown Happenings. I love that picture with the bridge. I want to talk about CareNet Pregnancy Services of Quincy. We'll be having their Crab Fest, and they have held this for several years. It will be on Friday, March 20th, 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. It will be held at the Ambiance, 5225 Cooks Lane here in Quincy, Illinois. And tickets are only for sale through March 15th. So you want to be sure and get them. You can get them at both of the Hy-Vee stores here in Quincy or through uh, CareNet by going on their website, www.carenetquincy.org. The tickets are $40 for the Crab Fest. You get a crab, homemade clam chowder, salad, and dessert. If you would like to upgrade to a ribeye steak and baked potato, there's $10 additional charge on that. So be sure and check out our calendar of events here on our website at WTJR.org or our Facebook page WTJR TV. Amen. A lot of things going on in March. A lot of events. Okay. For our bridge today, we're going to show you a video of Revive America. And this was uh, made from the very beginning. So you're going to see different groups singing and uh, Bob preaching maybe in a little different sets. But just a little bit of a preview of Revive America here at WTJR. Come on, let that be the cry of our hearts today. Come on. good, isn't he? Glory. Give this worship team a hand tonight. They have ushered us into the presence of the Lord. 
nothing like the presence of God. Amen. Word of the Lord says, in his presence is perfect peace. It is. Everything you've been searching for in your whole life is in the presence of God. Amen. There's joy, there's peace, there's hope, there's healing, there's Amen. restoration. Hallelujah. And I believe by the Spirit of the Lord, the same atmosphere that's in this studio is reaching you right where you're at. Amen. 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 I declare joy is coming to your life, peace is coming to your life, healing and restoration. He's a God that restores. The Word of God says He will restore years that the enemies robbed from you. We thank God for restoration in America. Restoration in America. Hallelujah. Give the Lord one more hand clap of praise. Can you? is coming to America. Amen, amen. If you would like to join us in the studio for Revive America, uh, it's usually held the first Tuesday of the month unless uh, Evangelist Newton has a conflict. But I think there's only about two or three times in the year he doesn't come at that time. But we uh, would love to have you in the studio with us. You need to be here by 645 because it is live and... Uh, we have three camera operators, and sometimes they have to move the cameras around. So we like to have the people in place in their seats. But I'm telling you, you will be blessed to be here and be a part of the worship. Uh, all the worship teams that we've had uh, through the months have just really brought us into that atmosphere of worship, into the presence of God. Uh, and Pastor, um, I shouldn't say Pastor Evangelist Newton, uh, God has given him such wonderful word for us, and they were so timely. So I would encourage you, if you would like, to come and be in the studio with us for Revive America. It'll be next Tuesday on the 10th. Be here by 645, okay? Amen. Okay, we are praising God for the hope that CTN, we're an affiliate of CTN, Christian Television Network, WTJR and all the stations, we bring hope into people's lives because of the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to use Matthew 5, 41 today. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain or two. Compel. We are to compel people to come and follow Jesus. Today, we're reading again out of the red letter words of Jesus. This is a beautiful devotional book written by Jack Countryman that you can uh, get with a $15 donation. And uh, information is on the screen of how you can get one of these books. They make a beautiful gift. And uh, I'm going to read from page, if you happen to have one, you can follow along, page 15, the little devotion here. Whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Throughout the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus offered straightforward and radical instructions for his followers. Among them, agree with your adversary quickly. Don't resist an evil person. Whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Matthew 5, 25, verse 39 and verse 41. Such instructions would have puzzled his listeners. And it puzzles us yet today when we read that, doesn't it? That's why the Holy Spirit has come, because he is here to teach us what God means by his word. Amen. Jesus summarized these sayings with the commands, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, and do good to those who hate you. In Jesus today, the Romans were the Jews' enemies and oppressors. The Romans could face Jews randomly chosen along the road to carry whatever needed to be carried. Yet Jesus told his listeners to love these enemies by carrying the load, not just for one mile, but for two miles. Be aware of times when you could stop, figuratively speaking, <clears throat> at one mile when asked to help someone. Take a minute to consider going a second mile, knowing the difference a little extra work will make, especially if you help someone with whom you don't get along. And I have known people 
they are, I would call, second milers. They are not satisfied just to do the task, but they go beyond. And that's always a blessing, isn't it? Yes, it's always a blessing for people to go beyond and serve and do more than that was asked of them. And they usually do it with joy, <laughs> with patience, and, and do a perfect, almost perfect job, don't they? I know we're not all perfect, and we're not perfect, <clears throat> but um, through Jesus Christ, we can do things very, very well. Amen? Amen. So, from this, compel, the word compel, is a verb, so it's an action word, <clears throat> to bring about something by the use of force or pressure. And I would like to think that we can compel people by encouraging them, encouraging word, the example we uh, set before them as they see our, we, them live, us live our lives. Um, uh, instead of in a negative way, uh, we don't really bend anybody's arm and make them do anything. Yes, sometimes people pressure us into doing things, they try to make us feel bad of that we're not going to help them or, or say negative things to us that make us um, pressured, feel pressured into it. They just keep at us and keep at us. But in Luke 14, 23, it says, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. And when you go to Luke 14, I want to try to read. I know we're about to run out of time here. But in Luke 14, at verse 16, uh, Then he said unto them, A certain man made a great supper, and he bid many to come. And this is in red letters. And sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. Another said, I have bought five oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, and they kept making excuses. So the servant came and showed his Lord these things. The master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, the maimed, the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. We need to go out and compel people. We can do that through love, through the witness, the life that we live before them, that they will see Jesus in us, and they will want to draw near to Jesus. They'll want to know more about Jesus. And then that's how you can then compel them to the Lord. God bless you. See you next week.